Hey everyone, it's Robert Fedoric again. Thanks for coming back to my channel and welcome to the Joy of Reporting series. It's so good to have you here. Today we're going to talk about reports where child records are part of the conditions. So here's a sample scenario. How many open incidents have open child tasks? In your report builder, I'm just going to assume you know how to get there, there's an element called related list conditions. Once you're there, it's going to ask you to select a table. By default, it's going to assume you want results where there's one or more of the related records in question. Suits us just fine for our scenario. I'm gonna go ahead and pick incident task. I'm gonna leave that default quantity. And I'm just gonna add a condition here, active is true, because I only want child tasks that are active. So you see, we're doing incidents that are active, but also where there are more than one incident tasks that are also active. Run it and I get four results. These are four incidents, not incident tasks, but they do each have one or more incident tasks. Let's just do a quick sanity check on that. I've got my incident task table here. I've grouped it by incident, and we can see that there are only four incidents that have incident tasks. So I know my reporting's right. Now you might be saying, gee, Robert, couldn't I have just grouped the incident tasks by their parent and got the answer that way? Sure, that's an excellent point. So let's complicate things a little bit. Let's see scenario two. How many open incidents have no incident tasks? So I've gone back to my report builder and instead of saying greater than or equal to one, I'm gonna click this and it's gonna give me various quantity options and I'm gonna pick none. So that should give me an answer that is exactly four less than the list that I already queried. So let me just do a quick sanity check here. Here's all the list of all incidents that are active. I have 56 of them, so I should anticipate that the amount of incidents with no incident tasks should be four less. So let's just run that and we'll scroll down to the results and I see that we have 52 incidents reported. This is a great way to look for records that don't have relationships that you expect that they should. Want some more complexity? Let's go to scenario three. How many incidents have more than two incident tasks? Okay, so we're still here on our report builder. We're gonna click on our quantity specifier here and we're gonna pick greater than or equal to, and then it allows me to specify quantity. Two, let's run that. I see I have two incidents. Let's just do a quick sanity check. I go over to my incident tasks. Let me just collapse all these. These are incident tasks that are grouped by incident, and I can see that there's only two in here that have two or more incident tasks. So again, my report is right. So now you can fearlessly and confidently report on records based on quantities and conditions of their related records. This is really powerful stuff. It's one of my favorite features of the reporting engine. So you want some potential use cases? And if you think any of those are useful, imagine making them indicators in performance analytics and then using those to drive success. We're gonna be talking a lot about performance analytics on this channel, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Okay, quick shout out to my channel sponsor, Ground Shark Coffee and the fine cup of their awesome Blue Belt blend that got me through the production of this video. If you like your service now work with high energy, get Ground Shark and build like you mean it. Check them out with a link below. As always, hit that subscribe button with the bell icon so you aren't left behind on the content I'm gonna be releasing weekly. Give us a like for some good karma. And if you need a partner with the passion and depth of understanding that you've seen here, check out the link in the description for how to contact me. Thanks so much for watching.